Okay, if you feel like chicken tonight, chicken tonight, this could ruffle some feathers. The price of chicken, it's going up. News 4 San Antonio's Alejandro Guzman spoke with local business owners and farmers who say you could start paying the price. We can't believe that chicken prices have gone through the roof so much. It's becoming uh, harder to find and get chicken. Not exactly the problem local restaurants and farms want to have. Mr. Chapman, owner of Chapman's Chicken, says he's now paying 20 to 21 percent more, roughly 115 more dollars per week. Costs, he says, are adding up and are being passed on to you, especially as he struggles to rebound from the pandemic. I have a, a special from 11 to 2. Uh, I had to just go up by 20 cents. The plot chickens. I've just got a few leftover uh, lake waters, a few uh, breasts, and a couple of whole fryers left. Abu, owner of Alamo Farms, opened up last June and says there's a few factors impacting the supply. One, chicken feed. I used to buy a, a 50 pound bag for $9. Uh, right now it's went up to $15. Two, weather, specifically the winter storm. If it's too hot, a lot of them die. If it's too cold, they die. And so with the freeze, a lot of white broilers were, got killed. Three, the lack of employees. With uh, uh, limited labor, we've had to pay people more to come to work, a lot more. Um, which factors into our expenses. Supply and demand is off balance. Local businesses say if things don't get better, they will have to increase prices soon. That's something that we try to avoid, you know, because of, of course, a lot of the community right now is suffering still. While Mr. C's Chicken and Waffle says they're eating up the extra cost, others say if the situation worsens, it could end them. It will break our business. It will get us into the negative, into the red, possibly even have us shut down. Robert, Simone, and even you at home, your favorite Sunday brunch, chicken and waffles could be at risk. Also at risk, your wallet. Farmers say that if this problem persists, well, they fear grocery stores will increase the price. And let me show you just how foul this problem really is. This chicken coop typically has anywhere between 800 to 1,200 chickens at any given time. And right now, it is completely empty. They have no idea when they're going to have any more chickens. Robert?